ericmothertmother.com with U.S. market analysis for the weekend of November 11th and November 12th. 2017. Let's take a look at markets here. We are coming off the lows of the day. So this video is going to have some stock picks towards the end for paid subscribers. So paid subscribers be on the lookout for those ideas. So let's take a look at markets here. And even though the market is pulling back over the last couple of days, I still haven't seen the major break. In other words, there's potentially evidence that the market stays stable to bullish unless we see a real break of the current trend lines that we are going to be discussing in this video. So if you take a look at the NASDAQ from a weekly standpoint, we see that the RSI continues to hold above 69.1. And we know that as long as the market is holding above 69.1 on the weekly chart, markets remain sideways at worst, bullish at best. Don't forget that on the monthly, the NASDAQ continues to be above 69.1, a position it has held pretty much for the entire move for 2017. So as long as the RSI on the monthly remains above 69.1 for the major averages, expect markets to be strong. We take a look at the daily for the NASDAQ. We can see that yes, we are coming off the 69.1 level here. RSI is off the 69.1 level, but really we haven't seen a major break. For example, take a look at this RSI lows line on the daily. So this line would have to break before we can see any type of a strong sell-off. So this line has yet to break. We continue expecting markets here to be stable, if not bullish. Keep in mind, if you take a look at the market from a closer view, we can see that the daily breakout from last week, for the NASDAQ at least, continues to be intact. In other words, we haven't closed below the prior daily closing high of 6727.67, which goes back to this daily closing high. We broke out last week here. And yes, we've tried to break below it, but as of yet, the market has not closed below that price since the breakout. So the breakout continues to be in play. Take a look at the hourly for the NASDAQ. If you draw a line connecting the RSI lows on the hourly, should look something like that. You can see at the lows for the week, the market held support exactly where we were expecting support. Now keep in mind, if you go back to last weekend's video, we talked about the possibility of a pullback because the market was showing improvement in prices, but the technicals were not following through. We were seeing continued negative divergence. And because of that negative divergence, we got the pullback for this week. But the pullback is, as of not right now, not very strong because the market is holding support exactly where it needs to. And here's a good example where we see the NASDAQ holding support on the RSI lows line on the hourly chart. There's also another view. What we can do is take a look at this gap up in the market, which was very strong, and the market remains above this gap up period. We can figure out where the move began, and this move began when the RSI jumped above this level. So we can draw our uniformity support line. Anytime we bounce on this line with uniform action, we know that's a good re-entry for a short-term move or recovery. So the market touched that level at the lows of this week. Since then, we've been higher. So there's another layer of consideration which seems to, su to suggest that the market is still stable, if not ready to bounce. Let's take a look at the Dow, pretty much with the same conclusion. We have the RSI on the Dow, very strong, continues to hold above 69.1. We take a look at the monthly. Of course, the monthly is still above 69.1. In fact, the Dow has been holding above 69.1 since late 2016. And throughout this process, the RSI has been holding above 69.1. As long as the monthly is above 69.1, we've known that the market is sideways at worst, bullish at best. It's another way of saying that during this phase here, Pullbacks are going to be shallow and short-lived, 
before the market goes back to test new highs, if not record new highs. Let's take a look at the Dow daily. Now the Dow daily has come off the 69.1 level. Here we saw the market have a nice move for the month of October into November. Throughout this process, you can see that the RSI remained above 69.1. Now, if you go back to last weekend's video, I was suggesting that what I think could happen here, because we spent a lot of time here, what that tells me at least is that more than likely we might pull back, make new highs in price, but the RSI might make a lower high and that negative, the, the, the future negative divergence, if it happens, would be a more of a stronger sell signal than the current pullback. In other words, we would need to see negative divergence in, in the RSI before we can start pounding the table that the market is ready for a major pullback. So given this scenario, what I'm saying is in short, we can still expect the market to show improvement to all time fresh daily highs because at some point the market is going to have to make another attempt and the technicals might not be as strong. The any future negative divergence is what we can use to suggest that the market is due for a major pullback. So I would expect that the market is setting itself up for a move to test the current highs, either test the highs or break through them and record fresh highs. Now, if you take a look at the hourly for the Dow, we can see a reason for this is go back to where the Dow started moving. For example, off the lows here, off the lows on the hourly chart, short term, we can see that this is where the market moved out of a range. So we take that information and draw our uniformity support line. It should be something like that. And anytime we bounce on this line with, with uniform action, the market should recover. And we can test this. We can see that we came close here, but not quite off those lows. And recently, during the lows of the week, the Dow hit that level and is now recovering off the lows of the week. So as long as this line is holding, we can expect the market again to continue being sideways to outright bullish. And go back to last weekend's video. And early on this week, we saw the market improve in prices, but the negative divergence is what began this drop. And this is a good example of what I was saying for the Dow daily. This is not going to be your high. This period is not the high. Why? Because at the very least, before you get a pullback, you're going to generally, generally speaking, you're going to see an improvement while the technicals decline. And that negative divergence is what generally begins the drop. So we would have to see something similar as far as the Dow daily is concerned. And again, same conclusion with the S&P 500. You got your RSI still holding above 69.1, which is a sign of a strong market as we've already established. We take a look at the daily. And the daily here, you know, as far as I'm concerned, continues to be okay. For example, there's a line that was a prior resistance line. We can either draw it this way or even this way. And you see that once we broke out above that line here, that entry, market has been bouncing on this line on the S&P daily. So if this holds, then we can expect the market to test, if not break through the current prices. So really, no major damage has been done as far as the SPX is concerned. Take a look at the hourly. And the hourly for the S&P 500, to keep it very simple, has yet to break this RSI lows line. So during the lows of the week, we came and kissed that level right there, and the market has recovered since. So as long as we are holding above this line, we can expect that this market is due for a bounce. Keep in mind the big picture is still bullish. So we can expect the market still to be within a sideways, at worst kind of situation, bullish at best. 
and for the S&P 500 we can see just like the Nasdaq and the Dow SPX continues to hold firmly above the 69.1 threshold now if you're new to this concept take a look at this two-year period here in 2013 all the way to 2015 where the S&P 500 remained above 69.1 giving us this very strong trend to the upside so as long as we are trading above 69.1 this market should continue being stable to bullish all right that concludes the free portion of this video the rest of the video is for paid mother.com subscribers otherwise enjoy your weekend as always eric mother with mother.com for subscribers let's continue on